Hi guys. Um, yeah, so another review. Um, today it's going to be the Elf Eyelid Primer and the Elf Studio Mineral Face Primer. So, here's how they look. Is the, here is the Elf Eyelid Primer. And I have heard a lot about this. I've seen reviews on YouTube. And I know that in America, you can get it for a dollar. I can't believe that. I mean, you can't even get anything for, say, probably a pound over here. Not branded, not nothing, no branded makeup for a pound. And it's not a dollar, but obviously I can, um, you know what I mean? But I wish I could. I can't believe how cheap health is over here. I wish we had it here. I really do. It'd be a big hit over here. And the um, <coughs> and the Elf Mineral Infused Face Primer. And I know people have probably seen a lot of reviews of this, but obviously not being able to get Elf over here, and finally being able to try it out, I could not just not do a review. I mean, there is people who do watch my reviews. <laughs> There's not many, but. Um, and they are from the UK, so they will probably not, might even not even heard of Elf, or let alone have tried it. And I've never even tried Prime before, to be honest. I've not really heard of it a lot. And when I did, I thought I was going to try it out because, especially over here in summer, it gets hot. Well, when it does get hot, you sweat and your makeup probably just like melts off. And it's not nice, and obviously you want to keep your makeup on. And I thought maybe try primer, see if it actually works. So we'll talk about this one first. And I just love how it comes in this like plastic bottle. Like, it looks really, really professional, and it looks really cute as well. So, and I love it how obviously it pumps out. But when you, when you put it on your hands. It looks like a gel form, but when you feel it's like a dry, it, it feels dry, it's hard to explain. But it's like, like, like talc is dry, it's like that kind of feel. But you only have to use a tiny pump. When I first used it, I thought, well, you'll need probably a full pump for your face. You don't. You need a tiny little amount, probably like a pea, size of a pea, and it works it all over your face. And it's it is really good. You don't have to use a lot at all. The only thing that annoys me is when you're pumping it down, you can't you can't like. It's hard to. What's the thing? I can't think of what it's called. Now. It's hard to stop it when you've got enough. Sometimes, but that's that's the only thing I can really complain about. That that it does obviously it's hard to stop the pump when you want to stop it. So. But everything else, I just keep my makeup on and it actually makes my face look more softer. My skin looks a lot more softer as well. Which, yeah, I think that's really good. Um, because, obviously, you can't buy it here, it actually cost £8.70. And for postures, it was £2.17. Now, I understand why, because obviously, postage is a lot, obviously, a lot of money. So I can understand, and altogether, it's about ten pound. So I guess it's not—it's not too bad. I mean, I've seen a lot more primers what are really expensive, what are a ridiculous price. So for a primer, I think that's good. And going on to the Elf Eyelid Primer again, first time I've ever used a eyelid primer. And obviously, with it being hot, of, when it's hot here, and obviously you do sweat. Your, um, your eyeshadow gets creases in it obviously but with this I've not had any creases since I started using this at all Um, you only need a bit again it just, it just comes out like that and all you have to do is just put three blobs on my eye that's all I do and rub it in and make sure obviously it's up here as well and then obviously put my foundation, foundation and everything powder and when you put um, your, found, uh, your eyeshadow on, it goes on really easily. And I've had no problem with that either. Um, this, 
costs £2.47 and post is 93p so I, I think that's quite good just I don't think that's too bad it's a pity it's not a dollar <laughs> it's a pity it's not a dollar <laughs> but obviously ordering it off the internet what are you going to do really but I think that is good so I will continue to use these and I'm very very happy with them I can't I can't really say anything bad about them really to say to say how good they are, you can't go wrong. So, if anybody has any any more questions, what I haven't obviously explained, please feel free to message me or just write a comment on this video. Bye.